ever since TSB came out, there have been multiple spin-offs of the Battlegrounds formula. Some have seen success like Heroes Battlegrounds Z and Sorcerer, and some were left to rot. They vary from having a decent amount of players to a literal fallout wasteland. But we're gonna get these games a shot. We're gonna see if these dead Battleground games are criminally underrated or complete doggy doo-doo. So the first game we have on our list is Sakuna Battlegrounds. What a very original name, you know? Very unique. You also gotta love the fact that it has Rengoku and just other characters from different animes. So you know it's really good. All right, so we're in a private server because I tried going in a public and uh, it didn't work out. Man, what the fuck is going on? I'm getting my ass beat by some guy named Really. <laughs> Maharago? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so big? <laughs> so we're in the game right now, and uh, we have AK. Oh no, we have all these characters. You got Goja, Hakari, Yuta, a uh, Saitama. Because you know, why would I want to play TSB when I could play this for Saitama? Sima, uh, Sakuna. Okay, so we got Sakuna. Let's become Sakuna. Oh, that's great. We need to buy the Sakuna moveset. Not early access. Sakuna moveset. All right, what about Jogo? Let's play some Jogo. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we still gotta buy another game pass for Jogo's domain. A single skill. It, this is one skill. Soon after picking a character, you realize that you have to wait for their ultimate move. There's no ultimate mode or ultimate move set. No, there is an ultimate move that you have to wait. The gameplay in this game is completely boring. Literally, all you do is just throw some moves around. There's no combo potential or anything. You just throw moves. One thing I'd appreciate in this game is a sound design. Stuff will sound very quiet, and then out of nowhere, it'll just sound like a jet engine. The animation quality looks very inconsistent. Some will actually look pretty good, and others will be like, what the fuck? The effects are as good as you expect it to be, and the map is very basic. There's a city area, a park, and then the main base plate. And also, I forgot to mention, this game has bosses. Yes, you have the Finger Bear and the Sakuna mm. boss. Are they good? I'm not what sure. Am I gonna find out? No. Malevolent Shrine is almost finished. I can't wait to see this amazing move in action. Next game, Berserker Battlegrounds. Yes, the game where, you know, the woman get Whoa! There's no way it could be worse than the last one. The first thing you see when loading up the game is the armor set, which I gotta say, it does look pretty good. The cape has physics, the armor looks really nice. It has a really good texture detail. The sword looks good as well. The animations on it are pretty solid, especially with a game with this low of a player count. The gameplay, on the other hand, it's not that good at all. I mean, it's much better than the one before, obviously, but like, it's just, no. I'd much rather play something else. As a me making this video, this game does have three characters. Nuts, Brave Man, and the uh, Skull Knight. Griffith is free to play right now, and he does have some pretty cool moves. And he does have a really cool ultimate. I like how you actually turn into a model of Griffith. You know, that thing. I forgot what it's called. I like how they didn't hold back on his ultimate moves, and it actually is chaotic and fun. That's what a lot of these Battleground games get wrong. They do have really chaotic moves, but it's either that it's really bad, or it just makes the game so unfun to play. TSB fixed this problem by making AOE moves chaotic but cancelable. No. And the non-cancelable ones are Telegraph, so it's much more balanced than just Beam that does half health. Guts' ultimate is pretty similar to Griffith, so it's actually really cool that the ultimates are good in this game. I especially like this cutscene move where Nuts- I, it's, Yo, his name is not Nuts! Bonks you on the head with his big ass sword, and it's just really cool. Overall, this game would honestly be pretty solid, only if the combat was very similar to, you know, games like TSB and stuff like that, instead of, you know, this. Next we got st Yo! Okay, alright, a little advice for, I don't know, anybody making a Battlegrounds game. Ain't nobody give a shit if you put Gojo in your game, I'm just saying. You're not bringing in players if you bring Gojo. People want characters from the anime series, not some series that's not even related to it. Anyways, let's see if this game is pretty good. Oh, I already know. Loading up the game, I already see a huge problem. There's a gambling icon on the main menu. Why are you trying to add gambling into Battleground games, especially since Battleground games are mostly played by children? You just have to find some way to put in shitty microtransactions. And before people say, doesn't every Battleground game got tricked that could end yet? Stuff like this is just a one-time purchase. It's not something that you have to constantly keep buying just to get what you want. Anyways, enough talk. the gameplay is really bad, but that's what I noticed with all these games. They could have good effects, good animation, but if it's not a good gameplay, then nobody's playing it. Also, why is every single fucking move so loud? Like, no, I don't want to get my eardrums blasted because you want to put this loud from the actual show. The animation in this game, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'll give it that. The effects are actually pretty good. But the gameplay, like, yo, just how? How do you make it just this bad? You move like a snail compared to other games, 
and it's like just how is this fun man make me actually move i want mobility i don't want to literally move like a grandma and i'm not going to sit here and pretend that this game is the only game of slow mobility sorcerers used to have this issue but the new forward dash is like fast paced but the gameplay is still pretty slow paced so it's like a mix between those two i have no idea back onto this game this game only has three characters jotaro vamp and i have no idea who this is and the final thing we're going to be looking at is the ultimates which uh yeah, they're yeah. not really ultimates you have base movesets in your ultimate and you only have like three moves the ultimate moves are pretty cool like this one you can time stop and this one's a cutscene move which yeah it's pretty cool but i don't like how the audio just cuts out out of nowhere like just like that overall i can see why this game is dead especially since the dev has two battleground games and like every single good game they always have some jjk character in it even though it's not related in the slightest now the last one we have is peace battlegrounds now you might be saying see's battlegrounds just came out recently of course this game is gonna have low players and to that i say Loading up the game, it just feels empty, not content wise, like figuratively wise, it just feels like I'm in a barren wasteland. What's funny about this is that this game actually has the best gameplay out of all the games I reviewed in this video. Obviously it isn't perfect, but it's a step up from the others. Also, this game has really cheap game passes. Like, this one is only 50 Robux for early access? Really? This game only has two characters right now, Luffy and Zoro, and it looks like it's not being worked on at all. So maybe this game truly is dead. The animation is pretty solid. Not as good as Berserk Battlegrounds, but it is still pretty good. There's only one ultimate I can cover because Zoro, I don't even think he has his ultimate. The ultimate for Luffy in this game is Gear 5, obviously. But for some reason, this has absolutely no sound. But you know what? I'll take this over ah! some moves don't have any sound at all but the ones that do are really loud for some reason so i don't know the barangong barangong brain gun well, whatever the fuck i don't give a shit the b gun is a hard thing and it is pretty cool not as good as seeds battlegrounds obviously but it's good for a game like this overall this game does have the best gameplay out of all the games i reviewed on this video so maybe this game does have a shot i looked on the discord and they are remaking the entire thing so maybe in the remake it would actually get more popular than seeds right now so after reviewing all of these games i can safely conclude that yes all these games are pretty doobie i'm not gonna lie all i would really have to do is just rework the gameplay and i could see them actually getting more popular except sakuna battlegrounds that shit is absolutely